Conservative Party of Canada, they need a new leader. They had one. They've had a few of them, actually, over the course of the last few years. But now they need yet another one, and they put together a committee. It's been a big exercise to watch. I don't know why, because they've had so many leadership conventions and things that you'd kind of think by now they'd have it sorted out and know how to do it quickly, but not so fast, right? But it is happening. Five people have been approved to run to be the potential prime minister of the country. I mean, it is kind of a big deal, and I do get that. Several other people People are waiting for their documentation to be approved and hey that's a process I looked at the documentation and it's confusing to me I mean hey I ain't a genius so it's a little difficult maybe other people can sort it out quicker but it looks complicated you got to put fifty thousand dollars down up front but 25 of it comes from you and the other 25 comes from somewhere else and it's not very clear with regard to membership do you have to go out and sell memberships in terms of having endorsements with the sale and the money going to the party or do you just go to existing members and get them to endorse you so you can meet the level i guess of of uh, numbers needed i think it's like 300 or 500 or some such i don't know every time i read something i get a headache it's complicated leading a country isn't this complicated i don't think and uh, they have an election uh, organization or organizing committee that you have to satisfy and deal with all of the time so i only hope that good people do not get dissuaded with all of this stuff because it is complex. Upwards to $300,000, I guess that is the number, actually has to be produced. Where does it come from? Can the person put it up or does it have to come from other people? I don't know that. And if it does have to come from other people, wow, what a challenge. Because I think the limits are like 1625 or some such dollars per person. So if you need to raise several million dollars, which they're saying you can upwards to, I think it's seven, a lot of I think here, because again, I read it all and my head ached. But you know what? It's just not about the people anymore, it's about the party, because the party has to approve the person who runs. I don't know what they look for, character maybe, uh, are you able to navigate through this kind of mess? But but it's a tough gig. I, I mean, the country is a tough gig with what's going on. I mean, look what's, look what's happening with, with the parties. The uh, NDP party, NDP has always been a liberal in a hurry to me, and now not so much because they're there. They, they might even be further right wing than the Liberal Party in Canada. And, and uh, they dated, they agreed to agree, and now they, they've kind of written it out, so they're you know living together. I believe they'll soon wed, right? They'll get married, which means that 70% of all Canadians have never voted Conservative, and what it means is those people probably never will unless the party changes what it is and what it does. I, I mean, this is kind of an interesting time that we're in and y'all got to step up here and do something different. You can't keep doing what you've been doing. Whether you have a minority government or even a mi majority government, 70% almost anyway, plus minus of Canadians don't vote for you people. So what are you going to do to change it? You're not working at it very well because I don't see any changes. I mean, the people that are running are mostly politicians, ones that cause the problems in the first place, whether you're in or even out of government. They're part of the problem. Are they part of the solution? Some of them talk a nice story, but hey, we've all heard it before. Join up and be part of the big blue tent. Hey, there was no tent. <laughs> it was, it wasn't blue for heaven's sakes. So, so it, it's going on again. People don't trust or even like politicians. They don't say things that aren't true. There's so many different things that that I could comment on, but we don't have the time. <laughs> so, who's going to lead the country? Now they're all out saying one guy is saying I'll sell fifteen percent of government properties in fifteen. What about a hundred percent of the stuff they don't need? And on and on. It's kind of like that 5% GST thing. Instead of beating you up with that 2x4, uh, or 2x6 rather, I'm now going to beat you up with the 2x4, which took it from, I think, 7 down to 5. There's a lot of things that have to be addressed by the party. They need to open up so better people will run. You need business people running, and a business guy doesn't have time to even figure out how to do this. Only the uh, politicians, the ones that talk to each other all of the time. So I think it's bad. I think it's bad for the country. The country desperately needs a new party, a party with conservative values. I think the Conservative Party of Canada doesn't have that. And, and they're the same, the same as the Liberal Party. The people that are in it, they're the same. All these politicians, they've caused the problem. And yet the people that, that are on the board to get a new leader, they won't look past what they already have. It's not fair. It's not right. It's certainly bad for the country. I wish they could open their minds up a little bit and kind of think. You know, thinking is good. People want, people deserve more and better.
They deserve a conservative leader, a conservative government. I don't see any of that happening with what I see. I see more of the same. It's disturbing. It's even disgusting a little bit with all of this bureaucracy and red tape. Here's a party that some of them say, some of them being the guys that are running for leadership, will kind of get rid of some red tape. Wow. Tell that to the people who've organized this leadership campaign because there's a ton of red tape. Bah! Hey, y'all come back. See ya.